viral deed. This f was deed, and this f was deed, and this f he was f dead. To make sense of it all, we've got to go back to the scene we had to cut from the last episode because it was too much of a tunnel of departure. What's the? It's an eviction notice. What's the mean? Dude, we're homeless. Dude, look, I know this is not exactly the ideal situation, but I swear we are going to figure this thing out. How you are? You couldn't even figure out how to pay your rent on time. Dude, I paid it on time. That's not why we got evicted. Oh yeah? When was it due then? I know when it was due. It was... <laughs> wait, wait, I know this. Oh, for <laughs> sake. Rain's always due on the first of the month, you f***ing muppet! Really? Every month? Forget it. That doesn't matter now. We just gotta press forward. So this is where we'll be living now? Seems appropriate for a couple of vagabonds. Oh, dude, I already told you. We're gonna be staying with an old friend of mine. He and I grew up together. He's been kind enough to agree to let us crash on his couch for a while. <laughs> Don't give up hope, man. You know, this guy might actually be the perfect person for you to talk to. Yeah, he will be. If he's got more alcohol up there. <laughs> Whatever, man. So I should probably give you a quick heads up. This guy's, um, well, he's, <laughs> he's world famous DJ Raptor face. You know how these celebrity types can be. Yeah, <laughs> Mike. Hey dude, thanks for letting us crash here. And listen, I promise we will be out of your hair in no time. Sorry, scales? We'll be out of your scales in no time? Is that, is that better? Yeah, humans, am I right? Hold on, seriously? You two actually understand one another? Of course we do. How? The guys are mute. It's a bad thing, Mike. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> well, I understand that he obviously doesn't want you to drink his alcohol. Wrong. He doesn't want me to drink all of his alcohol. <laughs> Says it'll kill me. Well, joke's on him. This old false forsaken planet wants to kill me. Sorry. He's having a tough time right now. You know how it goes. One bad thing after another. Guy feels like he's got nothing left to lose. Max Payne? Who the f*** is that? Be one of your DJ friends? Well, tell him he's got a stupid, obviously made-up name. <laughs> no, that's a good point. He has never played Max Payne before. Now, there's a guy who went through some shit. Oh, come off it. Is this another video game thing? No, I actually think it'd be a good idea for you to play it. Give you some perspective. Show you what it's like to really lose everything in the most brutal way possible. I am a duck. Trapped in a world of hairless apes who want to eat me, and I have no feasible way of ever getting home, there is literally no fate worse than this. I guess it's a moot point anyway. All of my games are in storage. We would need a copy of the game and a PS2 just to...
that's convenient. Now all we need is a copy of the game. You know, I have the Xbox version of the game. I wonder if there's a way to get an Xbox emulator to run on the PS2 so we could get this version to play. <laughs> or, better yet, we should see if there are any retro gaming stores in the area. Then I could take Cooper to one of those with me and we could... Now hold on, hold on, let me think about this. No, what actually we could do is... Mike! Turn around and look at the f***ing screen! <laughs> Or we just do that. They were all dead. It's a hell of a way to start a story. <laughs> to make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Ugh, oh, I hate when stories do this. Just get to the fucking point. Just give it a chance. I didn't like the way the show started. They'd give me the best seat in the house. Front row center. That's him? That voice is supposed to be coming from that bloke there? Yeah, that's actually the author of the story, Sam Lake. Remini actually cast him to be the face model for the game. Did no one tell him he's got the wrong face for a hardboard and a war detective? Not until the second game, and they recast him. All right, so the first thing you gotta do is answer that phone. What? Listen to that very not so subtle music, mate. Something bad is happening to this man's wife. Answering the phone should not be a priority. Just, come on. Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. Is this the pain residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to- Good. I'm afraid I cannot help you. Who is this? Hello? Well, there it is. Whatever bad thing is about to happen here, it's the woman who done it. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't ruin it. That very obvious and out of place thing that just happened there? That's clearly foreshadowing the big twist ending. Dude, could you just... Come on. Go on, Max. You're a detective. Call the phone company. Find out who that was. Okay, solved. No, Max! Michelle! Oh, please! I'm gonna hurt you! It's coming. I'm gonna hurt Freeze. you! Freeze! Okay, so now press... Here, the trigger. Got it. No, not exactly. Why is the trigger jump? And not... Oh, I don't know. Fucking shoot! <laughs> yeah, it's actually R1 to shoot. That was the most ass backward controls I've ever... Why? No, 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 please God, no. They, they killed the f***ing baby? Yeah, man, I told you, this game is brutal. And it's just f***ing there? They just put a f***ing dead baby there for everyone to see? Who are these twisted game designers? You gotta feel that pain, dude. It is raw. The story does not pull punches. The flesh of fallen angels. No, 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 God, no, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. They killed his wife and his baby? You played this as a kid? Yeah, see what I mean? There's a guy who really lost everything. At least you don't have it as bad as him. Mate, this is fiction. Max Payne is not a real person. Clearly, with that stupid f***ing name. Yes, but fiction is just a reflection of our reality. All stories are about that shared human experience. They remind us of the hardships that we face that lead to those teachable moments that change us, transform, and shape us into who we are. I'm in hell. <laughs> no, clearly I have died and gone to hell because only a demon tasked with torture me to my core would ever say something so stupid. Just play the game and try to be more receptive to it. I gotta focus on this for a bit. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him.
death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. The pills would hold the pain back for a while. Did I just pick up a bottle of painkillers? Hmm? Oh yeah. That's how you restore your health. By taking opioids? When I was doing my research, I'm pretty sure I saw the humans get like, really addicted to them. Is that not a thing? Oh no. The opioid crisis is a severe problem. So why are your video games promoting gratuitous opioid use? I mean, this game came out like 20 years ago. We didn't know about all that back then. You didn't know that taking lots of opiates would get people addicted and cause a major drug epidemic? <laughs> are humans just like really bad at picking up on very obvious things? Look, I need to focus on this right now. I gotta find some new gigs that will pay well enough for us to afford a new place. The bank robber's score lay on the table. The bank robbers had been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. There's an idea. Let's rob a bank. <laughs> Seems like they've got a pretty good plan here. Just steal the money from those evil drug companies that got everyone addicted to painkillers. You know, this game might have an even better message than I remember. <laughs> Killing them? Aren't they the good guys? Never mind. There's that generic rogue cop revenge plot message I remember. Oh snap! Look at that! There's actually a number of really solid teaching gigs right now. I could just pick up one of these to add to those other 27 gig jobs that I work, and we'd be good. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Pain to the max. You're killing me. If you make that up yourselves, you can get some wine out downstairs to come up with it. You know, I was skeptical at first, but I really relate to this bloke. Healers, fucking eight. You're dead. You're dead. You're fucking dead. You over there? Guess what? Dead. Thought you were gonna get me. Ha! Not today. Fuck. You're fucking dead. Machine. After Y2K, the end of the world had become a cliche. But who was I to talk? A brooding underdog Avenger alone against an empire of evil, out to right a grave injustice. Everything was subjective. There were only personal apocalypses. Nothing is a cliche when it's happening to you. Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Baphomet, Lucifer, Loki, Chitulu, Lilith, Hera! Blood given to you all. He was after that old Faustian deal. Your soul for power and fortune. Just sign on the dotted line with your blood. Healers, fucking ape. Take that, you fuck. <laughs> hey. Fuck off. Thought you were gonna kill me? Eat me? I'm not gonna be your fucking drumstick. Kill all you fucking humans. Not eat me. Not today. <laughs> fucking got him. Why? That bloke's license plate is vodka? 
This game speaks to me on so many levels. <laughs> yeah, see, I told you. Wait, that is not. Hey man, do you have like a suit I could borrow? <laughs> yes, a suit, it's for a job interview. <laughs> Look, I don't want to talk about it. Do you have a suit or not? Thank you. What? A suit? Well, maybe he's finally decided to get a real job. <laughs> Not like him. What does that even mean? Miserable? His entire existence seems miserable right now, if you ask me. Maybe it's him who has something to learn from this game. Yeah, you know, he might have been right about that whole fiction reflecting reality thing. What this game teaches us is that when you've reached that point in life, where you've lost literally everything you care about, it's when it's time to just give up. Throw all inhibition to the wind. Make the whole fucking world pay for all the pain it's caused you. Now I'm pretty sure that is the message. As a matter of fact, I have some questions I need to ask you. Well, for starters, can I borrow your phone? Thank you. So I figured, I've got to kill as many of these f***ing humans as I can before they pluck and fry me. And as a seasoned man-eater yourself, I figured you could give me some pointers. Only thing is, I haven't got them sharp teeth like you. So I've got to get my hands on some guns as quickly as possible. <laughs> oh, I beg to differ, mate. If there's anything I've learned from this game, it's that guns are incredibly easy to get around here. <laughs> See, I just ordered a pair from this Amicon website. Should be here in a few hours. That's not what the message of this game is. You remember what Max did immediately after his family was murdered? He took that job at the DEA he'd been avoiding. And then every terrible thing that happened after that was just part of that shitty dead end job. But that's what the real message of this game is. When you have lost everything else in life, you just give up and put yourself on autopilot until this horrible life you've been cursed with kills you. I definitely think you're wrong there, mate. But it's a rip to face that at least. Which is it? Give up and wait around to die? Or give up and take revenge on the world? This world was the mess of a logical shut. Apes with no hair that lacked even the tiniest bit of perceptive skills, somehow ruling over the birds that didn't need big metal death traps to fly and had existed for billions of years longer than them apes. Is that's the freezer for sustenance. Fuel for the upcoming cavalcade of corpses to lay in my future. Lady Luck was a deceptive mistress in stiletto heels, and she just gave me a swift kick in the ball back. Tim, mate, you're a vicious carnival, not a hippie man child playing at being an activist. <laughs> you know, in my world, your kind is revered. We all strive to be more like our strong warrior ancestors. That's you, mate. <laughs> no, you're the one who's got it backwards. This whole fing world is backwards. You've got apex predators who don't even eat real meat, humans with raptor faces, adult man children who still play video games well into their. 30s in video games that glorify poor people killing other poor people while the only objectively terrible people, the evil drug corporations, is treated like innocent victims. It's madness. How do you manage to stay so calm in spite of it all? Evolution? What's that gonna do with anything?
So cunning killing machines like you evolved into plump little web-footed old ducks like me, and you think that's progress? <laughs> yeah, I suppose you're right. There are a lot more of us, and there are of you. So I guess we are a lot better at that whole survival thing. I think I see what you mean. I shouldn't fear the unknown, because change can often be a good thing. Ah, but not all change is the good kind of change. Hold on, Max Payne? Bro, that game clearly doesn't have a message either of us should be taken away from it. It's still only as you're going around killing poor people who ain't had nothing to do with your family's murder. That fucking drug company seems to be the most to blame if you ask me. Hey, sorry, I was just trying to get in the right headspace for this interview I got coming up. Oh, the job? Um, it's with some big company, O'Leary Co. Never heard of them before, but the pay is pretty decent, and they're offering me a half a percent off on rent, so, you know, can't pass it up. Oh, yeah, here, take a look. Oh, dude, I forgot, Max Payne. Let me help you with that some more. Yeah, I'd appreciate that. Drop it, don't move. Game over, Max Payne. Oh my God, I almost forgot about the big twist ending. Oh, the phone call, it's right. Not much of a twist though, is it? Her name is Nicole Horn. She was the key figure in Project Valhalla. When the funding was discontinued, she simply refused to quit. She knew exactly what she had in her hands. Nicole Horn is the president of Acer Corporation. She has more than half the city in her pocket. Oh, I fucking knew it. Yep. They're just another evil corporation. They killed my wife. They killed my baby. They made me kill all them innocent people. You kind of chose to do that. These evil corporations, all they do is ruin people's lives. Well, that ends today. Yeah, let's take down another of these evil fucking corporations. <laughs> my interview. <laughs> One thing our worlds definitely have in common, mate, is that the corporations are the real baddies. In any story, if there's a big corporation involved, you can rest assured that they're the true villains behind everything. <laughs> the um, opportunity. Shut up. Let's get down the brass tacks. I'm Saul. Saul O'Leary. CEO of O'Leary International, O'Leary Co. and Food Stamp Records. You want to come work for me or not? <laughs> Just like that? What's the catch? This is my... Wait. So it was you who bought my building? Not just that, he bought every building in the neighborhood. That's why they're all so f***ing expensive now. So you're the reason that I am homeless and can't find an affordable place to live. And not only that, he's the CEO of an interdimensional meat company looking to roll out its new duck line. Whoa, 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 stop. This is an extremely elaborate and complicated plot twist. Give me a second to process this. So you 
bought my building to make me homeless. That's right. And then you bought all the other buildings to make the rent in my state unaffordable. Yep. And you did all of that so I would trade you Cooper for a job I'd hate and an apartment I could barely afford? I'm an evil genius. I guess that makes sense. But wait, 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 wait. Were you also the one who sent us the PS2? Oh, yeah. Why? Was it so we'd play Max Payne and then figure out that it was the evil corporation behind everything all along? No, you idiot. It was supposed to be a bomb. But it wasn't. It was a PS2. How did an evil genius like you screw that up? Because I instructed one of my idiot henchmen to send you a bomb. And they told me they did. Nah, son. Remember you was like, yo, send them fools a bomb. And I was like, yo, remember the PS2? That was the bomb. I'm gonna send them that. And you was like, just shut up and send that. Because I thought the PS2 was the bomb. Yeah, the PS2 was the bomb. I don't understand why you're so confused. God damn it! Oh, my. This is my final offer. Ooh, more package. I will rent you back your apartment at only 5% more than you're already paying for. And I want that damn duck. No. And you leave me no choice. Yeah, package for the duck. Very motherfucker, quantifica, motherfucker, get him. I'm deep. the guns I ordered. Oh my god. <laughs> Lord Goy seed. They were all dead. This was dead and this was dead and this fuck he was Dude, my laptop. <laughs>